Yeah, you already know what I'm talking about, right? Because it's making headlines again. Record setting blobs of smelly sargasm are on the move and they're heading straight for South Florida and the Caribbean. This brown seaweed isn't just an eyesore. It's actually impacted tourism, public health and the environment. Joining us now to break it all down is environmental engineer Tracy Finera, who has been tracking this year's unprecedented bloom. And it seems like this kind of snuck up on us. The, Tracy, when we look at this, why are we seeing such record breaking amounts of sargasm this year and what makes it different from what we've seen in years past? That's a really good question. And and even though we don't know all of the details, uh, we know that this started happening about I don't know, like 14 years ago, there was a unique climate phenomena that caused sustained winds from west to east that moved the sargasm that was historically in the Sargasso Sea so far east that it got taken by southern lake currents and now just flourishes in the Caribbean when there's a lot of vertical, uh, vertical exchange bringing nutrients to the surface, allowing sargassum to grow like crazy. And this year is an extreme event, 150% higher than, than, I, I, than it's ever been in April. Yeah, I grew up down there, you know, and I know you live there on the Gulf side too, and tourism is a big thing. A lot of people want to get to the beach, and this time of year is when the locals thrive before that rush for the summertime. You and I worked together. We talked about red tide a lot, and that got stanky. It smells bad, but sargasm does too. Can you describe that smell for people at home? Because when you see it, I don't think it does it justice. Yeah, I mean, it smells like rotten eggs. You know, it's dying, decomposing organic matter that releases, releases hydrogen sulfide that can be dangerous if you're around it and inhaling it. So, so it's, really, it's really problematic for tourism, for public health. Um, and this stuff just comes in huge amounts. And this year will break records and people are super excited about it um sargasm get in sorry <laughs> nice i trace i want to ask you because i know you're always partnered with so many different organizations usf it's right in your backyard they upgraded a sargasm watch system can you explain how that all works and, and you know how people can prepare maybe ahead of time and so they can avoid these spots yeah, there are a number of different entities working together to forecast sarcasm. USF is leading the way with NOAA funding, help from AOML uh, and Caracus in, in the Caribbean. And what this forecast system does, from what I understand, is it's a high-resolution satellite imagery uh, right now for the Keys, and that is going to be expanded. So it's really exciting because... Right now, with navigation, sargasm is a big problem. If we don't have high resolution, it's really hard to navigate through all of this. In addition to preparing coastal communities for this large surge of macro algae washing ashore. Yeah, and you said this is all because of the currents, right? And we talked about that upwelling. Not to put you on the spot, but of course, we're getting closer to the Atlantic uh, basin and the hurricane season. It starts, you know, uh, June 1st. Is there any indicator with this? Does this tell us anything about the upcoming season or is this kind of, you know, something that's a totally different side topic? You know, because because we don't know exactly what's making this this bloom so extreme yet, the research just hasn't been done yet. Um, it's really hard to say, if at all, um, if it would indicate anything about the hurricane season. I mean, you know how, how weather changes so often and our predictions are only good like 14 days in advance. Yeah. So it's this as an indicator. However, it's just one, one more problem that we have over here in the Gulf and the Caribbean. Yeah, because, I mean, think about it, Dr. Panera, you get people to go there early because they want to avoid the actual tropical season, so they go out early. Now they have to contend with the sargasm. Thank you so much for being with us here tonight, and, of course, I know we'll be talking throughout the seasons ahead. Thank you so much.